started recording the album in January uh, of this year in uh, California. Uh, Martin and Dave had been writing songs previously, um, the previous few months for the album. I really felt like when we started this album, or bef way before that, that there was definitely unfinished business. <laughs> We've made some really, really good albums together, but you know, it's still that feeling of like, still want to make the best record that we possibly can, and, and still striving for that. There's something that you haven't yet completed, you know, or something for some reason. We started in the first five weeks on about 11 songs, which is a world record for Depeche Mode. <laughs> I think it was after about the fifth song or so that we you know, realised that there was some kind of, of, a, of a direction. We spent a lot of time trying to pick a producer, decided on Ben Hillier. It wasn't really the music he'd done before. Uh, it was more his attitude. You know, he works pretty fast, and uh, you know there was a constant sort of uh, energy flowing in the studio. You know, it was a lot more than actually the last couple of records that we made. I think he kind of had an idea of where he wanted to go pretty quickly. The last couple of albums they made, um, Ultra and Exciter, took quite a long time to make, and I don't think that uh, they benefit from that really. I, what I felt was they would benefit from working more quickly. Mm -hmm. I just feel we got, a, we got a lot more energy into the record because of that, and a lot more creativity. But I wanted to make something that was, had a, a much, more, much broader palette than the last record, um, and that was kind of a bit dirtier and crunchier and nastier sounding. He uses a lot of instruments like analog stuff, analog old analog synths. I think references uh, old Depeche Mode stuff more, which is surprising as Ben is definitely not uh, a big fan of Depeche Mode. Not that he's not a fan, but he, he didn't know a lot about us, put it that way. Which was also quite nice to us because he had no sort of conceptions of what he had to do. You know, he was uh, really, these are the songs, let's get a sound going and uh, there wasn't any sort of uh, past, past record that he had to think of. Mark went into the other room and started playing around with this idea and we could hear him sort of developing it a bit. So that was kind of exciting in the first place. We weren't sure where it was going, but when we started the next session, we got into it. We've started out with some heavy drums. Like ben gets on the drums and um, starts uh, Benny Bonham, we call him. <laughs> that sort of thing is the verse groove, you know, so it's sort of like a real... <laughs> yeah. Ben kind of like, likes to work like that, you know, I just get on like a sort of live mic in the studio and that, that was fun. And then usually you sort of kind of start looking at it and, and tearing it apart. It's a pesh mode a strange compared to other bands in that they turn up the recording studio with very complete ideas song-wise. What we'll do then is sort of deconstruct that track and rebuild it in a way that to help shape the sound of the record because obviously when they're writing the tracks and writing the demos they're not that worried about getting necessarily the right sounds or the sounds fitting in with other tracks, you're just working on the inspiration of the, of, of the songs. Dave does his, his voice warm up every day, which is um, astonishing hard work. He must, he's got lungs of steel. Mary had a little lamb, his fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. I think it's always for me, you know, a bit a scary prospect, thinking about a whole album. The thought of having to write nine songs or whatever, nine, ten songs, is always, uh, you know, yeah, a bit scary. I 
think Mark was just as nervous as me, you know, to be honest, about playing these songs. So it's really quite a painful experience. seen our music as being over dark I think that there is always an element of hope in our music and I've always said that it, that comes through in the overall feeling of the music One of the surprising things about this record is the uh, tempo. It's a lot faster than the last two records that we've made, maybe even the last three, but definitely the last two. The tempo's gone up maybe because I've been DJing more, so I've been buying a lot more dance music. And, you know, it's not, I didn't go out of my way to, to uh, start writing songs in a, you know, uh, faster, but you know, I think that it does come out subconsciously. There's always, you know, whatever you're listening to probably comes out. I will never be free. It's an interesting record. My feelings towards how it sounds in the end is, is very positive. I think it's extremely strong record. I think it shows that the band are still a very uh, potent force in terms of songwriting and ideas and performing. Uh, it's a very contemporary sounding record and great songs. See? 